Hey guys, welcome back to the lab. So this is the DIY Mastering Console Part 2. Today we're going to be signal path testing our insert module. So let's head on over to the computer and I'll show you what kind of tests we're going to be performing. So what you see on your screen here is a diagram of essentially what the insert module does. We send a balance signal in and all a balance signal is is just one signal and then another signal 180 degrees out of phase. We can use the function generator to generate such a signal and we can optionally just have it pass straight through the module. If we turn on insert one switch, it'll go to the insert one send. Hopefully it'll come back to the return. If we have insert two switch activated, it'll go through the insert two send back to the return. And if we have the order flip switch activated, Insert two will come first in the signal chain and then insert number one after that before making its way to the output. We have the left channel on top and the right channel on the bottom of this diagram. I'm only going to be showing you the tests of the left channel, though I am going to duplicate all of these tests for the right channel. But for the sake of brevity, I'll just show you one because they would just be duplicated. So you'll have to forgive me. I think I have some of my test numbering in, in this document <laughs> uh, mislabeled, but that's all right. In any case, the first test that we're going to be performing is just a straight pass through. So no switch is activated. We want to send a balance signal in and we're going to use the oscilloscope to probe the output to ensure that we are getting the same balance signal on the output. So that's test number one. For test number two, we're going to send the balance signal in, but we're going to activate the first insert. The first thing we'll do is we're going to probe the sends. And when you see the module on the desk, uh, it has a standard DB25 task cam pinout, and I've created a small little plug that essentially just takes the send wire and routes it over to the return wire. So it behaves as though we've got some processor like an EQ or whatever just bypassed in the signal chain. It's just going to come right back to the return. It'll make sense when you see that. Uh, but in any case, the first test, we're going to probe the sends and make sure that we see our balance signal on the sends. And then we're also going to probe the output to ensure that our signal is both making it to the send, coming back through the return, and making it to the output like we would expect. The next test is essentially identical, but we're going to do it with the insert to send and return. So we'll activate the insert to switch, and we'll probe the sends, and we'll also probe the output. The next test we'll be performing is having both of the inserts active. So this kind of represents that signal flow. So it should come, come in, go through the insert one send, back into the insert one return, to the insert two send, back to the insert one return, and then we'll probe the output to ensure that the signal we're sending in is the signal that we see on the output. And the final test we'll be performing is basically all three switches activated. So the signal will come in, it'll go to insert number two first, then it'll go back to insert number one, and then we'll probe the output to ensure that with all three switches active, we have the output that we would expect. So that's it. Let's go ahead and head over to the desk and we'll perform these tests. So here we are in the lab. And as you can see, here's that connector that I described earlier. It's essentially just taking all of the sends and routing them back to the returns for both inserts. And that just allows us to probe the output without having to worry about having a bunch of XLR cables connected or whatever. So for the first test here, we have uh, both channels of the function generator set up to send a uh, one sine wave and then another sine wave that's just inverted to the hot and cold on the left channel input. And then we're just probing the output. So what we would hope to see in this test, and in fact in all of these tests that we're going to be performing, is that when I turn on the function generator, we see something on the oscilloscope. It really is just that simple. We see the balance signal that we're sending in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll turn on channel one, channel two. So we've got our differential signal, as you can see on the oscilloscope here. So we are successfully passing our differential balance signal from our left input straight to the output with none of the switches activated. So that's what we'd hope to see for test number one. Now I'm going to go ahead and set up test number two. So now we're set up for test number two. Essentially what we're doing in this setup is 
we're sending that signal to our left input and we have the oscilloscope probes here on the sends. So what we would hope to see is that when we activate this, uh, the insert one switch by closing this connection, we would hope to see our balance signal on the oscilloscope. So let's go ahead and try that. And sure enough, when we activate insert number one, we see the signal going out through the Tascam DB25 connector. Great. On to the next one. Okay, so test number two, part B here, is essentially the same test. So what we're doing is we're sending the signal to the input, but instead of probing the sends, we're actually probing the output. So as you can see, uh, since we're sending a signal in and we have no switches activated, we already have our signal on the output. So what we would hope from this test is that when we do activate insert number one by closing this switch, we should see no change in our output. So let's go ahead and do that. I need to apply a voltage here. So we've got 24 volts on the board. I'll go ahead and connect to this switch and we should see no change. And sure enough, when we connect insert number one, uh, put that in the circuit, we see no change. Deactivating, no change. So this test looks all good. On to the next one. So we're set up for test number three. This is the same as the first part of test number one, except we're set up on the, uh, we have the probes on the sends of uh, insert number two. So we have no signal on the oscilloscope, and what we'd hope to see is when we activate switch number two, we see the signal being sent to insert send number two. So let's go ahead and try it. And in fact, we do see signal there, so that means that the insert number two send is working properly. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next test to test the output. So for this test, same setup as the insert one test, we're now uh, sending our signal in and we're probing the output. As you can see on the oscilloscope here, uh, we have our signal coming out. We're gonna activate switch number two and once again, we hope to see no change. And sure enough, uh, when we activate switch number two for insert number two, the signal appears to be routing through that insert send and return and back to the output. Deactivating. Activating, yep, no change. So that's a successful test there, and we'll move on to the next test. For this test, we have basically the same setup. We're sending our signal to the input. We are probing the output. As you can see, I have jumpers here closing the connections for switches one and two that should bring both inserts in. I'm not applying any power to the board right now, but when I do apply power, we would expect the insert relays for uh, inserts one and two to activate. And the signal should be coming to in, going through insert one, going through insert two, back to the output. When I apply 24 volts, we should see no change on the oscilloscope. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Relays activate, we see no change on the output. Turning off the 24 volts. See a little glitch, but no change in the output. So it appears that our signal is successfully flowing from insert one through insert two, or rather from the in input to insert one to insert two. It's a little bit late at night here, sorry. And back to the output. So we've got one more test and I'll go ahead and set that up. So our final test is very similar to the last one, except I've also closed the flip switch. So essentially all three switches are now closed. When I apply 24 volts to the board, all 14 relays should fire, and we should see no change to the signal on the screen, on the oscilloscope. And that would mean that our signal is flowing through the input to insert number two, then back to insert number one, and to the output. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply 24 volts. All of our relays fire, and we see no change on the oscilloscope. So that means that for our left, left channel, uh, all of our signal routing uh, appears to be correct. So that's really good news. Um, this is where I'm gonna conclude this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to stick around. I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos of this type and uh, leave me some comments uh, if you have any questions or if there's anything in particular you would like to see. 
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.